I can't tell what's wrong or right Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be Somewhere else to set me free I don't know what to do now Need to figure it out but I don't know how I hope the wind will carry me And take me away to where I should be So, welcome back to the vlog. I'm here with Albert. He uh, drives or used to drive a tricycle or a tuk-tuk. Um, here in the Philippines, uh, that's a common vehicle that you use to get around. Can you tell me a bit about uh, your experience with uh, driving uh, your tuk-tuk? Uh, yeah. Uh... It has been like uh, challenging uh, when you drive a tuk-tuk because sometimes uh, it's raining and uh, you'll get a lot of uh, water or flood or mud in the area and also uh, sometimes I drive up to 10 p.m. Mm. to get more passengers so nor what did, was your normal day like what what time did you begin and then you I, end around yeah, 10 p.m I, yeah i normally start after cooking breakfast here mm -hmm. i normally start around eight or nine in the morning mm -hmm. and then in the uh, it is my habit to have my afternoon nap mm -hmm. so from after having my lunch at 12 mm -hmm. i sleep after that, up to 1.30 in mm -hmm. the afternoon, because, sometimes 2 o'clock. Because it's a, also a hot job, right? Yes. It's a, and sometimes the weather here is very hot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many passengers do you normally, were you on average able to uh, bring around? Uh, the, it depends on the days. There are days with uh, I can have like 30 or 40 passengers. Mm -hmm. At that time, it's only 10 pesos per passengers. Mm -hmm. Then, during the pandemic, it went to 20. Oh, okay. But then again, uh, the problem is we got caught with uh, the COVID-19 mm -hmm. with my wife in sometime in August last year. Yeah. So my family. Uh, decided for me not to drive the top top oh, okay so have you ever had any foreign passengers yeah yeah foreign passengers they are good because mm. they pay more they are very happy to be able to you know to drive them around mm -hmm. what so uh but uh it's kind of small for a foreign passenger right no they can yeah. they can sit inside yeah. even if they're tall yeah so, Okay, and um, you know, one thing that as I'm riding in the jeepney, mm -hmm. I kind of admire the jeepney drivers because how can you uh, drive and, and collect money, collect money yeah. calculate yes. the money, <laughs> where you're going, yeah. you know, all of that while you're driving. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> multitasking, I guess. <laughs> yes. But for a. Because there's this. Uh, they, that is their way of life. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, mm -hmm. That is how they earn money for mm -hmm. their family. Mm -hmm. yeah. But for a, a tuk tuk or tricycle driver, uh, it's mostly local. Yes. Very. No, one time short. I, I drove an American to mm -hmm. the airport. Oh, wow. And he gave me 2,000 pesos. Wow. That's, that's, that's less than $50, but, but you that's know. That's a long I, ways. Yeah, I, I bought a ticket <laughs> to Mindanao oh, to wow. visit my sisters. Wow, that, yeah. that's amazing. Boat, uh, mm -hmm. boat or ship uh, ticket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you give us any other experiences or what your um, average day was like uh, as a tricycle driver? Well, you can meet a lot of people, mm -hmm. a different uh, type of people, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, 
they, they like to talk and mm -hmm. I like to talk also. Yeah. So this is one thing other than the earnings, this mm -hmm. is one thing I love because I love to talk to people. Mm -hmm. And you see the kids. And so you, know, you get a I, lot of, happy. you understand a lot of different yeah. stories or different, different people's stories, experiences. Different experiences mm -hmm. and problems also. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, and the kids, mm -hmm. they like to to sit there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it was a, an enjoyable one for me, mm -hmm. uh, not only because I earned, mm -hmm. but because I met a lot of friends on the process. Mm -hmm. okay. So you get to experience a lot of people and and build a sometimes a relationship like a repeat a repeat, repeat customer, uh, right? Repeat customer, repeat passenger. <laughs> yes. All right. And before I go, I always pray. Mm. I pray for God's protection. Mm -hmm. I pray for the winter. You mm -hmm. know. <laughs> Sometimes uh, you think that it's already raining, but yeah. when you pray, uh, the rain stop. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, prayer works. Because the tuk tuk or even the tricycle, the even though they have a roof on them, mm. it, it still uh, allows the rain to come in, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. Any any last thoughts for the audience? For what should they experience if they come to the Philippines? Uh, if you come to the Philippines, you know Filipinos mm -hmm. are uh, warm-hearted. Mm -hmm. They welcome the foreigners mm -hmm. to our country, and you love the Filipino food. Mm -hmm. You love the Filipino hospitality, and. You love the enthusiasm of the Filipino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of us smiles even in the midst of problems. Mm -hmm. If there's one place that uh, someone should go and visit here in the Philippines, out of all seven thousand six hundred islands, Cebu. Cebu. Yeah, Cebu. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of uh, beaches. Mm -hmm. A lot of, lot of uh, restaurants mm -hmm. and churches to go, mm -hmm. and also some historical sites. What about Mindanao? Yeah, of course, Mindanao. I'm from Mindanao. Ah, okay. Yeah. You can mm -hmm. go to uh, Davao, mm -hmm. Lagian de Oro, mm -hmm. to Bukidnon, mm -hmm. okay? And a lot of uh, places there in Mindanao. Okay. So there's plenty of places for you to come visit and explore. I mean, like I said, 7,600 Se islands. 7,100 islands. Yeah. yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to, uh, that you'll be able to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and see us again in the next uh, video.